Hey, welcome back to the Too Fast channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing automotive rearview mirrors and home link and upgrading. This is going to apply specifically to the Mercedes-Benz auto dimming rearview mirrors that I build. There are two mirrors on my workbench right now. Uh, they are virtually identical. They are um, auto dimming rear view mirrors with integrated home link and an integrated amber compass. So this is a, a very popular design uh, that I build for most Mercedes Benz is built before 1996. So the W201, W126, W124, W123, the R107, the W109, the W108, W116. So that covers um, most of the models. Now, there, uh, since we're talking about Homelink here, on my website and on my listings on eBay, you'll see specifically I state that these mirrors are not compatible with garage door openers that use the Security Plus 2.0. Uh, that is a security technology that LiftMaster came out with roughly 2008 time frame, 2009, somewhere in that time frame. And what that did was it, it was so different that all of the other Homelink modules built prior were not compatible. So the maker of Homelink, which is Johnson & Johnson Controls, which is now owned by Gentex, they had to come up with a solution, um, and that was a new version of Homelink. Um, I believe they refer to that as Homelink 4.0. So prior to that, most of the modules were 3.0 or 2.0, 1.0. And you would think that all of these Homelink modules from 2008 on up would have been compatible with the Security Plus 2.0 garage door openers, but that definitely wasn't the case. You had some automobile manufacturers that had integrated Homelinks that were compatible in 2009, 2010, and you had others that even up till 20. 12 were not compatible. And even within one brand, like BMW, for example, some models were compatible and some models were not. So it was just, it was all over the place. Um, and there was no way to, um, some people think that, well, you know, these mirrors can be flashed. No, no, they can't. The, these modules are fixed modules and they're not reprogrammable. So um, there's not much you can do uh, with the uh, onboard diagnostics, like the star diagnostic system for Mercedes or whatever BMW uses or um, whatever Volkswagen uses, the uh, um, Vagcom um, diagnostic software. You can't go in and reprogram the home link to make it compatible. So what was going on, if you were the unlucky owner of an automobile and your home link was not compatible with Security Plus 2.0, you could get a discounted rate or get a repeater module. That's something that LiftMaster also provides. It is a module that wires in between your garage door opener and your wall mount push button. It, comes, uh, there's a module uh, that you get and a remote control. Once you wire that in, you take the remote control that comes with that repeater module and you program that to your home link mirror. So now when you press your button on your home link mirror, it sends a signal to the module mounted on your wall, which sends a signal through the wires that your push button control is uh, connected to and that will open your garage door. So that's the workaround. So in that scenario, you're not actually sending a signal to the actual garage door opener. You're sending it to a secondary module, which is not as secure as the Security Plus 2.0. 
So that was the solution for um, the people who had the older style home link mirrors that were not compatible with their new garage door openers. So um, what I've done today is I have managed to come up with a workaround, a modification for my auto dimming rear view mirrors that will make them compatible with the Security Plus 2.0 LiftMaster garage door openers. So what I've got here is I've got um, two mirrors. I've got one that's unmodified and one that's modified. I have two remote controls here. Um, this is a standard um, remote control, garage door remote control uh, that would be, let's say, Homelink 3.0 or 2.0 or 1.0. I also have a LiftMaster remote. This is the 891LM. This is a Security Plus 2.0 only remote control. So if you have a LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 garage door opener, you would have, this remote would be one that you would, might have. Uh, there's several different versions. This is a one button version, but, um, and these only work with the Security Plus 2.0 garage door openers. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate um, with this first mirror here. This is an unmodified mirror um, that's uh, powered up on my workbench. And you can see the LED right here where my thumb is. You can see as I hold that in, the, the LED comes on. Uh, it's an amber LED. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try and program this LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 remote control to this unmodified mirror. So the procedure for this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you clear the codes first, which I've already done by holding the outer two buttons down until the LED starts blinking rapidly and then stops. That clears any existing codes from these three buttons. And we're gonna press and hold one button in until this LED starts blinking. So you can see that it's blinking slow. And at this point, we're gonna hold the LiftMaster remote control close. We're gonna hold down the button. And you'll see that nothing, nothing is happening here. Because this is this mirror that I'm working on right now, this has got Homelink 3.0 in it, or 2.0. I don't know exactly for sure, but an older version. So this is what you would experience. You would not be able to program your LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 remote control to your mirror. And for reference, we'll take this Homelink 3.0 compatible remote and we'll hold it, press the button down. And you can see the LED starts blinking fast. That means it's accepting the code and it's learning from this remote control. And once it stops blinking, you're done. So you can see um, that this particular mirror here does not take the Security Plus 2.0 uh, coding from the remote control. So let me, let me power up this other mirror here and we'll perform the same test. Okay, I've got the modified mirror powered up on my workbench. I've got the codes, any existing codes cleared from this particular homework module. Also sitting right behind the mirror here is a Kent Moore. This is a Homelink testing device that I use for testing and confirming that Homelink works correctly. Now this testing device does not work with Security Plus 2.0. It's for the older versions, the Security Plus and older. And um, what this is good for is this is good for me to confirm if codes are, are uh, programmed and accepted and cleared correctly. So as I press these these buttons, you'll see an LED light on the tester pop up and we'll press button two and another LED pops up and it's blinking and we press button three. So this tells me that these buttons have been cleared. There's no stored codes. Uh, this is the remote control that comes with that. Um, this isn't for the older home link so 3.0 and older. Now when I press this button, you'll see the green light over here on the tester uh, light up. 
and that indicates that it's receiving a signal from a, a compatible remote control. Now the LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0 remote is not recognized by that device. So we're, we're not going to see uh, any lights. Um, we won't see a program light pop up there because it's not recognized. So what we're gonna do first here is we're going to put button number one in programming mode by holding it down. Let me switch hands here, it might be easier. Also, I'll, you can see the uh, red light over on the uh, Homelink, the Kentmore Homelink tester is blinking. Now we've got our amber light here, slow blinking. And we're going to take our Security Plus 2.0 remote, press and hold a button. And you can see the LED light on the mirror, the Homelink mirror, blinking rapidly. We're going to hold the button in until it's done blinking, and it has now been learned. Again, when I hold this in, we're, we're not going to get we're not going to get any code or we're not going to get any lights on this tester over here so you can see this mirror actually accepted the code and is transmitting the security plus 2.0 code so at this point you would be ready to put your security plus 2.0 garage door opener in learn mode and when it's in learn mode come over here and press this button. The garage door will learn button one from the mirror. It will blink your garage door lights a couple of times and you're done. And now you can open your Security Plus 2.0 garage door with your home link in your mirror. Now this home link 4.0, uh, actually this one that's in here is actually home link 4.2. But uh, 4.0 and above um, is compatible with um, the Security Plus 2.0. It is also backwards compatible. So if we look at button two, you see we got the, the red LED light right there. We're gonna program it to this Security Plus remote control. And we're gonna go ahead and hold this in, hold button two in until it starts slow blinking. Take our Homelink 3.0 compatible remote or Security Plus remote, press and hold the button in, and you can see we've got the fast blinking. And it stops. So now the button has been learned. The button has learned the code from the remote control. And now when I press and hold the button in, you'll see that this green program light blinks. That's to let you know that the button has successfully learned the code from the remote control and is transmitting it correctly. You'll also notice a difference in the blinking of the light when you press and hold this in, it's solid. With the Security Plus 2.0, we press, it blinks rapidly and then goes solid. So that's uh, basically to let you know that uh, what the code being transmitted is Security Plus 2.0 versus Security Plus or something older. So that's it. Um, this is the first one that's been modified and is working um, from my initial tests. Of course, I don't have a Security Plus 2.0 garage door opener, so I can't actually take this mirror and program it and test it to a garage door opener. But if it learned the code, from the remote control, uh, it will work. Um, that's my understanding based on what Lift, LiftMaster has told me. So anyway, um, this is a optional service I'm going to be offering for 
not all of my auto dimming mirrors. I can only do this on a few of the designs, and this being one of them. Uh, if this is of interest to you and you plan on buying one of these mirrors for your older Mercedes Benz, get in contact with me and let me know. I don't have a price for this upgrade yet. Um, and that's gonna vary depending upon what the parts cost me to, to do this upgrade. And I haven't got that all quite figured out just yet. But get in contact with me. Uh, if you have a Security Plus, Plus 2.0 garage door opener and you want one of these mirrors, uh, and I'll work with you to get one modified with Homelink 4.0 so it will work in your application. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.